Hi, in this lesson we're going to be going over lesson 6.1, finding the area of a rectangle with fractional side lengths. One strategy that you can use to figure out the area of a rectangle that has a fractional side lane is by counting up squares, which means that we're going to draw ourselves a model. Now since 5 is our denominator, we can split our model into 5 pieces vertically and horizontally. One of our side lengths is three-fifths of a foot, and so we're going to label on the top three-fifths. Since we have three out of the five pieces going across. On the other side, we can use that to represent our four-fifths foot. So we're going to count one, two, three, four out of the five pieces and label that four-fifths. What our model shows us is that really each of our little squares that we created is equal to one-fifth. So here's a one-fifth side length and here is a one-fifth side length. Now remember area is multiplying length times width and so that means that each of these little squares has an area of one-twenty-fifth. I'm now going to go ahead and shade in where the three-fifths and four-fifths would overlap so that we can see how many one-twenty-fifth squares we have in our area model. When we go ahead and count, we see that we shaded in 12 pieces that have an area of 1 25th, therefore 12 1 25th would be equal to 12 25th. When we're dealing with area, we need to remember that we're dealing with square units. As we can see from our model, we have squares in our model. So our units would be, be square feet. So our final answer would be 12 25th square feet. Another strategy that you can use to multiply rectangles that have fractional side lanes is to use the area formula. Remember the area of a rectangle is equal to length times width. So if our given side lengths are 3 fifths foot by 4 fifths foot, all we have to do then is multiply our side lengths together. So this connects back to what we did in chapter 4 with multiplying fractions. So we would set up our problem as 3 fifths times 4 fifths. We can check to see if we can simplify anything diagonally, which it doesn't look like we can for this. And so we're just going to multiply straight across. 3 times 4 equals 12, and 5 times 5 equals 25. So our answer would be 12 25ths square feet. Sometimes our side lengths might be mixed numbers as well. In this example, we have four and a half feet by one third feet as our dimensions of our rectangle. I went ahead and set up our model that we can use to count the number of squares to find the area. The top would represent four and a half feet. So we have one hole, two holes, three holes, four holes, and then the fifth hole would be cut in half and we shaded half of that hole. Then on the other side we have one third feet that we're going to go and label. Which means that we would be splitting our rectangle horizontally into three pieces. 
To figure out the area, we need to count up number of each fractional size. So we look at our area here. One piece would represent one third. And so if we take a look at how many pieces we have that are equal to a size of one third, we have one, two, three, four. So, so far, we've counted up four thirds square feet. Then, let's take a look at what we have left. So we have one little piece left. In this hole here, one piece out of six is shaded. So to figure out the total area, we would add four thirds plus one sixth. Now in order to be able to add four thirds plus one sixth, we need to have a common denominator, which will be six. So we need to multiply four and three by two. So four thirds would become eight sixths, which we would add to one sixth, which would give us nine sixths. We'd have to change 9 6 back into a mixed number, which would be equal to 1 and 3 6, which would simplify even further to 1 and a half square feet. The last example that we're going to take a look at right now is multiplying a mixed number side length by a fraction side length without having to count the squares in a model. So remember that our area of a rectangle is equal to length times width. And so if we were just draw a little picture to represent what we're actually going to be doing, we have 3 and 3 fourths and 1 fourth as our side lengths. And so all we'd have to do is multiply those two together. So it becomes 3 and 3 fourths times one fourth. Now in order to multiply we're going to change our mixed number into an improper fraction. So remember you multiply the denominator by the whole number part and then you add that to the numerator. So three and three fourths multiply four times three to get twelve and add three to get fifteen. So three and three fourths becomes fifteen fourths. We're going to multiply that by one fourth. We multiply straight across, we get 15 times 1 equals 15, and 4 times 4 equals 16, so our answer would be 15 16 square feet.